What is going on, YouTube fam? This your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another episode of Hood Tales, man. Before I start, be sure to tap that like button. Definitely watch the video to the end to hear the full story. Subscribe if you're new to the fam. Hit that notification bell for future uploads. Let's get right into it. I'm a firm believer that games are not all bad. If they go by what most of them were created for in the first place, protecting the community and giving back. But somewhere down the line, it went from that to gangs beefing with each other, leaving bodies dropping for decades all over the world. It's really messed up when young kids take an interest into a gang, looking for that family vibe and lose their life at a young age, trying to be a part of something that if they live to get old enough, they probably wouldn't care about in the first place. Edgewood, Maryland, Hoffa County. I remember going out there to see females when I was like 16 years old and thinking for it to be so nice, they like to fight and game bang out here. And today on Hood Tales, that's where we will be taking it to discuss a dispute between local gangs that left a 15 year old boy gun. According to sources, at the time, 18 year old Razier Myers was living in the 1300 block of Head and Brook Court in Aberdeen, Maryland, and was allegedly a known member of the 400 sets of blood, in which Razier and his comrades will often go to Edgewood to hang out. But they had rivals over there, a set of crips called Thug Entertainment. The two groups did not get along, and often local authorities tried to keep Razier and his peoples out of the area. Another young man at the time, 15-year-old Khalil Johnson, was said to be in a rival set, the Crips. Khalil's former teacher painted the picture of a young man with a bright smile, smart, and could go places if he focused on the right things, in which he told Khalil after taking him to a McDonald's with another student to have a serious sit down, stating she didn't want to get a phone call or read he got killed, in which Khalil stated he knows and was planning to do better. Minus fighting between the two gangs, nothing major had happened until the night of the 4th of July in 2019, after midnight. A group of young men and women were about 50 deep, just cooling and enjoying the festivities on Eloise Lane and Edgewood. When a man stood on Brookside Drive and opened fire, the crowd dispersed, but 15-year-old Khalil was hit. He ran towards a home in the area, but collapsed. Once local police arrived, no one wanted to talk, but Khalil was flown to the University of Maryland shock trauma for treatment in which the young man would not survive. With a bullet hitting his back, exiting through his chest. Once people in the area realized Khalil was gone, a name came out. A suspect, 18-year-old Razier Myers. Some witnesses say Razier was shot in the leg himself before running away. Surveillance video in the area caught everything. A man opening fire, teens running, then a suspect running away, showing Khalil running and collapsing by a home in the area. Ballistics was also found at the scene. A vigil was held for Khalil, in which friends and family were devastated. An arrest warrant was put out for Razier, and a few days later, he turned himself in with a graze wound to the leg. Razier would bail out at first on $10,000, but more evidence, including a laser found at the scene and DNA on a handgun, will leave a young man facing murder charges, attempt murder charges, handgun charges, and gang charges. Razier was being held at a Hoffa County jail. The trial was at first postponed, but eventually a jury found Razier guilty of all charges, KG. stating he had no regard for human life as he opened fire on a group of people celebrating. Even though convicted, Razier is still waiting for sentencing. Rest in peace to Khalil. I send my deepest prayers and condolences to the family. More of this story, watch what you associate yourself with, especially as a hopper or young man. You might get caught up in game politics. You too young to even understand. Life is real and the decisions we make today affects tomorrow. So remember, we gotta succeed not to fail. So we won't be just another hood tale. Man, this is a messed up story, you feel me? First and foremost, rest in peace, Khalil. Shorty was only 15 years old. You know, he got caught up, allegedly, in some game politics. They was beefing in the area. 
you know, the young man that came through, they say he just let off shots at the group. I'm not sure if he targeted Khalil personally, but they saying Razier came up on the block. He was familiar with the group of people. So, you know, I know he targeted that group allegedly. But yeah, man, the community was hurt. Everybody was shot. His teacher said Khalil was a bright young man, had his whole future ahead of him. His family was hurt. The community, they held a vigil for him. A lot of people were saying the gangs out there was getting out of control. The violence was getting out of control. But that's what happened, man, when you got a whole bunch of young men trying to prove themselves to themselves, if that makes sense. They trying to show they go hard. They trying to show that, hey, we can go toe to toe with y'all. We got hurt, y'all got hurt. But it really don't matter at the end of the day, man. I keep telling y'all, it's all about who get the drop first. Everybody got blitz. Everybody out sliding, looking for each other. Ain't nobody bulletproof. So if you get hit, more than likely, if you get hit in the right spot, you're going to be out of here. You know, no matter what age you is, it's real. You feel me? And it's sad because these young men don't get a chance to wake up. You know, I was once in that mindset. You know what I mean? I was young. I was out here running wild, doing stupid stuff. You feel me? Affiliated with certain things. And then when you get older, you start realizing a lot of them people ain't had your best interests at heart. A lot of it ain't about nothing. And at the end of the day, you grow to be a better man and take care of your peoples that really care about you. But man, if you don't ever get to that point, how can you know? You feel me? It's messed up at the end of the day. And your family left to grieve. And you feel me? Try to keep your name alive. You know what I mean? And local authorities were saying there was a gang problem out there. You know, they tried to say Khalil was associated with the Crips. But at the end of the day, even if that is the case, you know, these babies, you feel me? I remember they used to throw hands out there like that. Like I said, I used to be out Harford County. I remember them boys fighting on the playground all day, every day. You know what I mean? But then I guess just like everywhere else, in Baltimore, Baltimore County, anywhere in Maryland, they took it to the Blitz, man. It be like that, man. But yeah, real sad situation, man. You know, real messed up at the end of the day, man. Because at the end of the day, Khalil Gunn and Razier, he about to get life in prison, possibly. He was found guilty on all them charges. He ain't get his sentencing yet, but they waiting for it, man. But y'all already know. Let me know what y'all think about this one in the comments. It's your boy Tony two times. Y'all know it's all love. I'm out.